Hey guys, it's me, Bon. Long time no see. Sorry for not posting for a long time. It's just been really busy over here. Um, also, if you hear um, squealing puppies in the background, I apologize. I foster animals for a local animal shelter, and you know I'm I have some in my room right now, and if they may start acting like it's the end of the world for no reason, <laughs> so please excuse that. And in today's video, I wanted to go over some horses for my wish list and horses that I'm planning on bringing into my series called Beyond My Mountain. Some of the horses I have my eyes on right now are actually the Akaltekis. I really love this coat. It's really nice. Nice. Um, the eyes are really pretty. I love a good blue eye. I also love their shaven manes. It's just a little thing that I love about these horses. Um, one horse that I really want to get for like a different thing or a role play thing is this little guy. He just looks like such a cult to me. It would be fun to do like a little series or like show about like starting him. And um, if you hear me say like I would like to do a show like to do with like cults. I own an Instagram account called Raspberry Valley Events. I will leave a link in the description. And, um, and basically, I on there plan events for the server I am currently on called Raspberry Valley. So if you guys are ever curious about the events I put on, you can um, go ahead and check that out. But anyway, I love his little big um, stripe kind of. I have a horse at my stable that kind of has a big stripe like that. His name's Bubba. And I just love this like gray kind of, almost like, I don't know if it's, uh, it's kind of like a gorilla coat, but I love it. His eyes are really pretty too. I just love like the general body of these horses. They're really well done, I think. Now this guy, the New End Illusions, I really like them. I'm personally a big fan. I was originally going to get one, but I decided at the end of the day not to just because, you know, none of the colors that I was really looking for came out and I was planning on bringing them to my show and I saw a bunch of colors and I'm like you know what some of the other col colors would probably suit the show a bit better so yeah I that's why I haven't got one yet I am planning on it once I get that number up to probably 5,000 but this coat overall I just am not a fan of like the lighter color I don't know, there's just something about them, and he kind of has like a weird sun-kissed mane I'm just not personally a fan of. Now this beautiful, beautiful dapple. SSO is getting really good at dapples, and I am here for it. I do love this. But, you know, it's just, it reminds me too much of an Alicia online coat I have. Next up is this baby. I freaking love this coat. This is so pretty to me. It reminds me of the Light Fury from, um... Um, How to Train Your Dragon, the three, the last one, but it was, I just love this coat, it's so pretty, it's so, I, I just love this horse so much, it's so pretty, she has like a little mustache, I'm going to get out of this person's way, sorry Julia, um, now coming up for the, n another new Andalusian, I, ooh, I, sorry, I just saw one of the horses I liked, I like this horse pretty. I like this horse generally. She has some nice eyes. One thing I'm not sure is the little speckles in her coat. I would definitely probably get used to it. Um, her mane's pretty good. I think the SO did a fantastic job on all these new manes that are coming out. They're looking gorgeous. Also, um, I think the new gates, these horses got kind of like new gates, which is just amazing. It takes so much time and effort to make all the new gates look good, so applause to SSO for doing such an amazing job. I also noticed a bunch of people, I believe, were comparing this to, I believe, the Lusitanos over there. Um, I believe, no, I, I'm pretty sure the Lusitanos are actually bigger, I think, and their manes are different, and also... I believe the horse the horse breeds I think are pretty actually closely related in real life and look very similar. So I think SSO did a great job keeping realistic to both their breeds but also making different differences in them. And just by looking at it, you can tell by the shading, they have a bit more like muscle mass I would say than um, those horses, although I may be wrong, but 
the shading's a bit different, so applause to them. This guy, I fell in love with this guy a little bit ago, but I'm kind of falling out. I love how he's kind of like smoky. I understand, I don't think a lot of people really like this horse when he came out. I may be wrong, but I don't know, there's just something about this one. I am, and as you guys have probably guessed by now, I am a sucker for Akal Techies. They are just gorgeous. I'm in love with them. But I really do love this coat. I love the dark and orange. Well, not orange. Kind of like reddish color. Done, almost. Now, this black guy. I'm considering getting this horse for my new series, Beyond the Mountain. Beyond my mountain. Um, I'm not going to say who's going, what this horse is going to have to do with everything. But I am definitely considering him and this other and the other really light colored Andalusian. Um, that I really liked, that we were just over there. I'm considering both of them for, um, being a part of the show, because I think they'll be very good. Now this little guy, oh my goodness. I love this horse. If I ever did a showmanship show or event on Raspberry Valley, I would take he this horse. He is just so gorgeous. This horse would get a very good color marking, I would say, because he's just so glamorous looking, and he's a golden boy, golden girl. <laughs> Let's quick pop over to um, Fort Pinta, and we will see what horses I like there. Okay, so we're at Fort Pinta, and our first horse is right here. I love, number one, I just love the Clydesdales. They are so gorgeous. Look at those feathers. Everything is just so good. They're, um, th sorry. Their coat is just perfect. I'm in love with them. They're cold tolerant. They're perfect. I once had a horse storybook. It was this really good storybook. It was kind of about a girl who, like, turned into a horse. It was really cool. But, um, one of the stallions in the story looked so much like this horse, and I'm just in love with this coat. I really thought about getting this Lipizzaner for a while, but I already have one. I already have the dappled one, so I was like, you know what, I don't need one. Now, I know what y'all are gonna say. This horse is purple. I see it here, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm in love with this horse. Sorry. I really like this horse. I think it's so pretty. I love the sun-kissed mane. I love everything about this horse. I personally don't mind the purple. I think it actually looks really good. Good. Like, it doesn't look too off to me. I may just be secretly colorblind, but you know, I love it. Next up is this fjord. I love fjords. I ha got one of the old models about a week before they left, so I'm happy to have that little collector's item. And, oh my god, I really love fjords. I can't get my mouse to work. Um, I love these fjords. Oh, I hadn't noticed that little white spot down back here. But their tails are just so well done. I love their manes. They're gorgeous. I shall get one soon. At, well, not soon. At some point, I shall get one. And then here's this trinketig. I love how S is so, like, loosely based this off rain. I'm <laughs> not even loosely. This is rain from Spirit. I know a lot of people were kind of um, mad about Spirit being brought into the game, but in my opinion, that was a great update. I kind of really liked it. In fact, I even watched the Spirit seasons on the um, Netflix. It, was, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It was entertaining for a little while. But I do love how they base this horse off rain. I think for a lot of us, Spirit was just such an important, not important, but like amazing horse for all of us. So it's kind of nice to see one of them come to life. So I'm actually not that into these Yorvik Wormbloods. I, there's just something about them that I don't like. I'm sorry. The only one that I really kind of like is this, like, nice, like, chestnutty one. Maybe that dark one. But I'm not a big fan of all the others, even though they are pretty cute. I am a sucker for old models. I think I'm a collector. I've collected all the wild horses that have been ever released. So, um, I always lose my star coins when they, they come out. But I love these horses. I love this Cremello, I believe it's called, and this, like, kind of, like, shiny buckskin. I believe these are actually Akal Techies. Yep, okay guys. This is what the old Akal Techie looked like. Be thankful they're new. Like, that's what we started with. Did fall in love with this beauty. I do love this horse. I think it's really pretty. I would love to, like, do a cross-country thing with this horse. 
some showy events maybe I'll play in the future. I do love this horse. I think it looks really pretty and everything. I've been a sucker for this horse and that horse ever since I really started watching Northena. I also kind of like this one. I don't know, they're just really pretty. I really love that one. <laughs> and this was actually my first ever starter horse. I really liked her. I think I called her Sky Chaser. But um, yeah, she was my old starter horse. But then um, I got a different account. So I actually kind of, I used to not like the old model, but now I kind of do. Um, I don't really like this horse. I don't know. It's just like, eh. I like this one that kind of looks like barbecue. I like this one. I like this one. I may actually buy that one someday. I like this one. I like this one. Sure. I don't like the Pinto one. It's just too much for me. I like the, uh, like, bay quarter horsey one. And I kind of like this one. They're all pretty. I believe this one has a flaxen mane and tail. I love this it's a paint paint horse it's really pretty i um i'm not actually i'm more of a fan of like bay and white than like black and white or like or like chestnut and white i don't know i just think it looks a lot prettier and i'm in love with this horse i would love to own him someday um i remember this was a horse that i really wanted to own actually but um i every time i got up the courage or star coins to buy him the horse market was in town wasn't in town and um then the new horse came out and i'm like ooh, that's prettier <laughs> same with these guys i really love them this one's probably my favorite and i really like this chestnut i love tinkers i would love to own this one this one this one i would buy literally like all of these tinkers except maybe like this one and like that one and that one like i would buy almost all of them <laughs> but i used to be a big fan of this documentary called cloud's legacy and um there's a horse that looked like this one called red raven i was in love and i want the pony i sh i should build like a cloud's legacy army with the ponies i like yeah i like all of these they're really pretty i think that little paint pinto is really cute this is one of the horses i have his name is called thunder prince I like this one. I like that one. I like that one. I like that one. I like that one. This one looked like Cloud. And it still does look like Cloud. I like these paints and pintos. I don't like that one as much though. That one's pretty good. I don't like that one. The mane's a bit weird. I like this pinto and I like that like short bready one. <laughs> you guys can see even in three different places I have a bunch of horses on my wish list and horses that I just would love to ride around at some point. So I best be saving up my star coins. 